And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time scavenger hunt. Description. There is some interesting information hidden around this site. Can you find it? And for our hint, we're told you should have enough hints to find the files. Don't run a brute forcer. Okay, so that's an interesting point that we'll talk about in a minute. So it just looks like a boring web page. As I'm clicking, I'm told they used HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So this is very similar to a prior um, challenge we did. And we can already, we can see right here when we look at the HTML, we can see a flag. So it said, here's the first part of the flag. And let's see, I guess I have to edit to get at that. So let's grab that. So that's the first part. Very good. Now let's look at the other stuff. So let's look at the CSS. So and it says right here, CSS makes the page look nice. And yes, it also has part of the flag. Okay. Great. Uh, I discussed this in the prior video uh, I've mentioned already, where we talk about the different elements of a web page. Uh, it's not copying. Well, that's annoying. It's really annoying. How do I get that? Yeah, okay, we can open it. So this is an important point. These are just files that are sent across the internet and they're used in a specific way, but in the end, they're just files. So you can open them just like this. And what was our last thing? It said JavaScript. So let's take a look at JavaScript. And it says, how can I keep Google from indexing my website? So a lot of this challenge was actually, it was about knowing things and it would be kind of difficult for you to figure this out on your own. But search engines, they do something called spidering. So they will go to all different places on the web and they'll index them, meaning they'll read the pages and they'll see if there's anything interesting and they'll put it into their index so people can search for them. Sometimes you don't want things to be part of a search engine. And so you can put a robots.txt file and what that tells search engines is, please don't index this. So there is our next part of the flag, part three. And he says, I think this is an Apache server. Can you access? And he puts access, uppercase, the next flag. And so, uh, again, this might be a little difficult if you haven't worked with an Apache uh, server before, but what you need to understand is, yes, it can serve web pages like this, but it can also just serve files, anything that's in your directory. And the way that you gate that access, if you looked at the documentation, is there is an htaccess file, .htaccess. Maybe hypertext access, I, I don't know. Sounds as good as anything. And we see the next part of our flag and again, I could see this being very frustrating. If you're new, you're like, how am I supposed to just know this out of the blue? And the answer is, well, you either read a lot of documentation pages, which I'll show you in a minute, or you see it once and then you remember it forever. Finally, he says, I love making websites on my Mac. I can store, and again, capitalizes store, a lot of information there. So uh, I work on a Mac at work, and I know there's a .ds store that's like a, a hidden file that's kind of a, a tracking of what's going on with the file system. So let's see if that's available. Congrats, you completed the scavenger hunt. And so we'll take the last portion of our uh, flag, we'll put it in, and boy, I'm struggling. There we go, to paste today, and we succeed. So let's quickly look at some of those documentation pages, just so you have a sense of what's going on and what I was talking about. So first, uh, the .ht access page, it provides a way to make configuration changes on a per directory basis. And you can see, you can allow access, you can allow uh, all kinds of different things because as we discussed, the Apache server will present things as just a, a directory if you allow it to. And then people can root through your, your things and you may not be interested in them doing that. So this was an interesting example because .ds store, that might leak information that you don't want to if you had it in, uh, in a web server directory. And then here we have .ds store, the Wikipedia page, and it just says it stores the custom attributes of its containing folder, such as the position of icons. Yeah, so it's it's metadata about the file. Anyway, hopefully that was, uh, probably wasn't interesting, but at the very least, hopefully it was helpful. And if it was, you can help me out by liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, commenting, blah, blah, blah. Thanks very much, bye.